got the Weber kettle all warmed up and we've got ourselves some great smoke going. Got our chips, our mesquite smoking chips. And we're just getting the grill temp up to temp for a couple of ribeyes and uh, actually a New York strip and uh, porterhouse. Getting the temperature up here. And let's take a look what's going on under the hood. Woo, looking good. All right, got some wood under there and I'm gonna go take a look at the steaks we've got. Looks good. Get these on in a minute. We've got our vents wide open. And we'll let the grill keep heating up. All right, we're getting up there in temp. We got our top opened up, and we'll check back in a few minutes. So now we've got our steaks on the Weber kettle. We'll keep it opened, maximum airflow. Get these things nice and hot. As you can see, I put it at a uh, diagonal to the grates and we'll flip it and we'll do the same thing to get our crisscross grill marks. And it's definitely hot. We're just using Kingsford normal charcoal briquettes and a little bit of uh, mesquite wood chips over the top. And we'll go ahead and cover it up and let it cook. And we'll check back in a little bit. Alrighty, as you can see, we've got some pretty good grill marks going here. Nice sear on this prime New York strip, and then nice grill marks on the porterhouse and the other New York strip, and running pretty hot. So we'll go ahead and close the lid and turn it down a little bit. Closed off a little bit of the air intake because we want to not get too, too hot. And uh, we'll check back here in a little bit. All right, so we got our steaks off the grill. We got our porterhouse in the middle. We have our New York strips looking good. And we went with about 137, 140 degrees on the temperature. You can see our crisscross hash marks. And we got one side of the porterhouse, as you know, is a New York strip. The other side is a filet, looking good. And we are about ready to eat. We'll let these rest for a couple minutes. And then uh, we'll dig in and enjoy. Have fun.